Oh, what's that circled on my calendar? Happy Pi Day to the best viewers uh, around. I'm your host, Andrew. This is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto news. We've got a lot to go over today, so I'll just shush up and let the news do the talking. First up, the NFT industry has just seen one of the biggest and most significant deals in its history. Yuga Labs, the creators of Board Ape Yacht Club, have acquired the intellectual property of the CryptoPunks NFT collection. In a statement, they've also unveiled plans to hand over full commercial rights to collectors, meaning they'll have the freedom to use their punks however they wish. Bitcoin has avoided a de facto ban in Europe after a controversial proposal was voted down in Parliament. According to Unstoppable Finance's head of strategy, Patrick Hansen, 32 politicians on the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee voted against this proposal with only 24 in favor. However, those who lost the vote could still spark a discussion in a plenary session of the European Parliament if they had support from a tenth of the MEPs. We here at CoinMarketCap will keep you updated if anything changes. Crypto ATMs are set to vanish from the UK after operating were told to shut their machines down or face enforcement action. The Financial Conduct said no current operators of Bitcoin ATMs have received the necessary approval to do so. Since crypto ATMs tend to have fewer background checks than centralized exchanges, there are fears that these machines could be used for money laundering. Meanwhile, the Bank of England has started advertising for full-stack developers to work on its proposed central bank digital currency, which has informally been referred to as Britcoin. Cute. The Ukrainian government has given insight into how it's spending millions of dollars in crypto donations. Alex Bornyakov, the Deputy Minister for Digital Transformation, shared that bulletproof vests, ballistic plates, thermal imagers, helmets, walkie-talkies, packed lunches, and medicine have been purchased with these donations. Funds have also been used to support civilians who remain in the country, giving them access to food, water, gas, and other essentials. For specific purchased quantities on the above items, be sure to check out our full article on Alexandria. And finally, Mila Kunis is collaborating with a Web3 animation studio to launch a new adult series powered by NFTs. The Gimmicks has been described as South Park meets WWE, and it's about washed-up wrestlers battling to regain their status. At the end of each show, viewers with NFTs will get to influence future episodes and character arcs by voting. Last year saw Mila launch a cartoon series, Stoner Cats, which told the story of, let me check my notes, cats who are stoners. The Stoner Cats NFT collection sold out in 35 minutes and broke the Ethereum blockchain in the process. And if you, dear viewer, have the munchies, for more great news content, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And be sure to visit our stash of great news content by asking Alex in the description below. Alex has the hookups for more info on today's headlines or crypto in general. And again, I've been your host, Andrew. This has been the news, and we'll see ya tomorrow.